what we're speaking about here is education in the nature of mind and uh, education in, in, in everyday life, empowered life, a lifestyle that is, um, in my experience, unlike anything I, I had ever experienced before and, uh, and completely opening to, uh, to reality just as it is. And that phrase, just as it is, you'll, you might hear many times, leaving everything as it is, allow all thoughts, emotions and sensations to be as it is. And we do that in short moments many times, in short moments of open intelligence. Repeated many times, we allow all thoughts, emotions and sensations just to be as they are. <coughs> to recognize <coughs> Excuse me. To recognize what open intelligence is very directly, stop thinking and see what remains. When we see what remains, we see that there's actually this pervasive, clear alertness, clarity and insight that uh, is always on. What is always on about us? And my next question was, but how can I really, really stop thinking? And that's perfect. It's, it's a it's simple instruction in the beginning to, to really see that actually there is this pervasive clarity that regardless of if I successfully stop thinking or if I uh, don't stop thinking, what, m what remained very, very clear was there's this pervasive, alert, cognizant intelligence, regardless of thought, n no thought, the next thought. So this open intelligence is always on, always clear, always stable. And we recognize it in short moments. And now, all thoughts, emotions and sensations, we simply title data. Data appear within open intelligence. They're inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. And so things like uh, sexual desire, pain, jealousy, anger, pride, arrogance, all sorts of thoughts, emotions and sensations we simply title as data. Data can be likened to light signals appearing in space, a rainbow in space. So what I started to find was my relationship with my thoughts and emotions and sensations drastically changed. Just to this simple and, and incredible uh, perfectly logical explanation of the nature of mind, I would say. So where I would find myself reacting to thoughts and emotions like, for instance, sexual desire, being taken to this place and that place, um, being involved in many different things and, and experiences, in the efforts and the, in the complete effort to to capture a certain experience, to, to have uh, a certain set of positive data. What I started to find was that in short moments many times, regardless of if I was involved in a certain situation or experience, or if I um, didn't involve myself in that experience, what I found was the nature of reality is perfectly clear and stable and my enjoyment is right there in that recognition of open intelligence and not the going after of all of the different data streams that are fleeting, that cannot provide any lasting sustenance or, or, um, or any lasting enjoyment or satisfaction. So the ultimate satisfaction we find in short moments repeated many times. And you can test that out in your everyday life, test it. Maybe you're uh, walking along the beach or 
enjoying a carnival or something like that. <laughs> and you find all of these different thoughts and emotions come up, these sensations. I must have that experience. That's the only way I'm going to be happy in that moment. I must go for that. Recognize open intelligence right there. You're experiencing everything right there, right there in that instance. Flawlessly inseparable from that is your perfect intelligence. Untouched and completely enjoyable. Complete enjoyment. So what that opened up for me was discernment. A, a, a total discernment into how I can use my time for the benefit of all, how I can use my energy for, for the benefit of all as well. That view opened up where thoughts and emotions and sensations were no longer concerned about, I was no longer so concerned about a, a positive experience for myself. I, that, that in many cases, uh, well, generally, I see that it, it, it opened up completely to, to looking at how can all of these thoughts and emotions and sensations be of, of great benefit to all. And in that, in that uh, seeing the openness of all of these thoughts, emotions and sensations, the, na the nature of data is open and clear like sky there was a, a great relief and ultimate satisfaction of knowing that actually my natural, my perfect nature is one of wanting to be of great benefit to all, of, of perfect and, and uh, perfectly clear, clear knowledge and intelligence. And um, pain was, was uh, uh, is also a data stream appearing in open intelligence, but for me and for each, we have our own different sets of data streams and experiences. And in terms of pain, in my experience, it was something that I needed to use the Four Mainstays to, to really see it, its beneficial nature uh, and to find it n uh, undistracting. And so, as pain would come up in my experience, I would use all of the support. If short moments didn't work for me, if it didn't feel <coughs> like it didn't work for me, I would rely on a trainer rely on the community that is supporting, that is here and available to see their experience of, of finding ease in, in pain. And it's never to get rid of the data streams. We, we're never um, practicing short moments to get rid of data streams. So we don't have to get rid of our sexual desire. We don't have to get rid of the pain we rely on open intelligence to allow it to be as it is and the definition of all, all of the definitions around that those descriptions I found loosen up and open up and what I started to see was I can't really find those definitions anymore I can't, can't really find where, where is the basis of this that I was so uh, fixated on uh, calling it desire or so fixated on it's this pain and it's exactly there. When I look at my experience I can locate aspects of pain everywhere <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm looking for it. But at the same time there's an inseparable openness, this ability to perceive, this power to know and in short moments, repeated many times, the obviousness of open intelligence becomes more and more predominant. And there again we have the discernment to, to really get support if it's, 
if there is something that is uh, troubling us, if there's something that is painful, it's a great, uh, continually painful, physically painful, then we're also not saying to not seek professional support for that as well. It's an incredible opportunity to, to use that, to see we rely on open intelligence to see what is the next beneficial step for yourself first and foremost and then for all. And that becomes really, really clear and easy. Relaxing for short moments many times, I found, okay, this is the next beneficial step that I need to take to, to respond to all of the different thoughts, emotions and sensations that are coming up. And if maybe I was unclear, great, I'll rely on the next short moment and the next and the next. And naturally, what I see in my experience, it, it just becomes more and more obvious and clear. So the practice is relying on short moments, repeated many times, and to use the support to, to uh, help us to do that, basically. So in terms of experiences, we find, I started to see and see that it, we are all, ex the ability to experience everything really, regardless of if I've had that experience or not, we know the basics. We know the, the, the very, very simple and uh, direct response for each and every circumstance is to rely on open intelligence and to support each other in doing so. And so in that way, each and every uh, circumstance poses no issues. Each and every f circumstance that I've found myself in is incredibly uh, simple and clear and there's the ability to respond to that circumstance in a beneficial way. 